This is the home of 35-year-old Brian Njuba in Chinonya Zone in Masanafu, a Kampala suburb. Njuba trained as a plumber, but he also learned a bit of welding while in school. First, you will need a bucket. The reason we are choosing plastic is because we are dealing with electricity. Njuba demonstrates how to make the welding machine. So we have a piece of wood like this. We measure one can a piece of well in our bucket, metal. It has to be steel. We are going to make sure it goes the all of it into the bucket. <laughs> one pole is for live electricity and another one is for the torch. Then we can put it in our bucket. We have to uh, fix this such that it doesn't move. After that, he connects a positively charged electric wire to one of the terminals in the bucket. Now, this negative wire will, will go to where you are going to weld. Now, we'll put in our water. The welding gun is connected to the second terminal inside the bucket. The power switched on, and the welding machine is ready for use at a cost of only 70,000 shillings. The regular welding machines cost between 600 to 800,000 shillings. As I was getting to this field of construction, I needed to weld some things. But I never had enough money to buy welding machines. The bigger the bucket and the bars that act as the terminals, the more power one produces. If you use a unit of other welding machines, this one you will use half of a unit. However, one of the shortcomings of the gadget is safety. If you touch wires inside, mostly the, uh, the red one because it has live power. According to Njuva, during the process of welding inside the bucket here where there is water, there is always an alternating current uh, between the positive and the negative terminal and that causes the water inside to heat. And when the water heats up, it generates more power, thus more output, especially through this uh, welding gun. The reason why you need to keep this bucket open, it's like when you're boiling water in a kettle. There must be some outlet of that steam. Besides the welding machine, Juba has also made a water pump which does not use electricity, fuel or solar power. The water, which is filled in an airtight water tank, is then connected to a vacuum bottle. As you can see, it has an, an inlet that moves from there towards the pump. Air is accumulated in this vacuum tank. This vacuum tank will later force the water to go up because pressure will be wanting to come out, yet there is another valve in the middle of this pump. To get longer distances of water where you want water to be, you will need a bigger cylinder. Because as pressure accumulates in that cylinder, it is the one that forces water to go beyond 100 meters, 200 meters. If improved, Juba's pump could be an easy-to-make pump that would be ideal for small farmers working on a tight budget. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.